Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the show. I am your host, Mike Malatesta. On this podcast, I dig in deep with every guest to get to the roots of their success, to discover not just how it happened, but why it matters. My mission is to expose the ideas and clues you need to inspire, activate, and maximize the greatness in you. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me for another Solo Friday episode of the How Did Happen podcast powered by Winject Studios. Today, I want to talk about how you feel about success and not your success so much, but other people's success. So my, my partner, Larry, uh, who I was partners for for 20 years, he, I remember him finally telling me that... Um, you know, always be careful about how much of your success you uh, show, especially with stuff to, um, you know, the people that you work with, because uh, they're never really going to be happy for you, never going to be really happy with your success. And when he told me that, and he said it more than one time, I thought, oh, you're just being, you know, you're just being a skeptic, you know, you're, you're, you just, maybe you had a bad experience with someone and, not everybody's like that. And, um, and I still, I don't think everybody's like that. I think what ends up happening is people judge your, how they feel about your success, uh, by how they feel about you. And so you're the one who, uh, I think impacts how people think about success more than success itself. However, that's defined. And I was listening to the James Altucher podcast, and that's one of my favorites. And he was talking about this concept of Mitt Freud and schadenfreude, which is a hard word to say, but Mitt Freud and schadenfreude. And it made me think about success a little bit because Mitt Freud is, uh, basically means having joy in the success of others. And maybe you might call that an abundance mindset. So you're not comparing someone else's success to yours. You're just happy that, um, that they have had or are having, uh, whatever success they are. And, and schadenfreude is different. Schadenfreude is, uh, when you get pleasure, uh, you know, derived from, uh, another person's misfortune. So it's, and when I, when I, when I heard it, and he wasn't talking about these things in the same context that I am, but when I heard that, it really made me think about, about success and how people feel about your success. Because I, you know, to me, I feel like, um, people that are easy, uh, to like, and not, uh, egocentric and, you know, they are humble, but yet, um, and they care about other people and they realize that, you know, it's a team that leads to success of everybody and no one can do it alone. It's those are the people that it seems to me, uh, attract the Mitfreud in all of us because all of us have it. All of us have joy in us that is, uh, channeled towards other people. We're happy for other people, but on the opposite side, the, um, there's, there's, there's this thing that people do who have success. And, you know, you don't, I don't need to name any examples, but those things are like, um, they take credit for everything. They think they know everything. They, um, are never wrong. They'll never admit that they're wrong. Um, and they're just not, you know, not, they're not nice people. They are bullies and they are uh, entitlists and they're all these other things. And those people make you suspicious and they make you angry. And I feel like those are, you know, those are the traits that bring out the schadenfreude in people because I don't think people, most people are naturally deriving pleasure from another person's misfortune. But when you're one of those people that is sort of gotten to the top of the mountain and 
uh, done so, uh, let's just say, on the backs of others, uh, or at least that's the perception that you give off or that people get from you, uh, you bring out this, this thing in them that's not probably who they want to be, but, um, but it's who they think they need to be because, you know, it's kind of like uh, get back time, you know, when you fall off that mountain and you've been one of those those people, the the schadenfreude in all of us sort of comes out. So my point today is very simple. Um, If you want people to feel good about your success, uh, make them a part of it, you know, make them a part of your success. And if you want people to derive pleasure uh, from when you fumble or when you uh, fall down, then um, don't invite them into your success. Make it make them think that your success is above them, uh, and and not not the, not the result of something they did to help you. It's sort of a pretty easy formula. If you want people to feel good about you, feel good about them. Make them feel good. Uh, and if you want the opposite, do the opposite. So that's my lesson for today: Mitfreud and Schadenfreude. And I do thank you so much for investing your time and energy uh, in me today. And until next episode, maximize your greatness. This broadcast is brought to you by WinCheck Studios. We are an all-in-one educational platform for podcasters that revolutionizes how hosts leverage content to increase engagement with listeners, downloads, and income. We come together to focus on community, collaboration, and collective impact. For more information on how you can interact directly with our hosts, access exclusive live content with offers you can't get anywhere else from our official partners, join our purpose-driven community by visiting www.winject.com. If you're ready to build a career doing what you love, then we're ready to see you there. (laughs) 